Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program 2. Now, we've had a lot of fun in this already. I mean, about as much fun as this guy's having. Look how happy he is. So, we're going to go into single player. We're going to continue with, this will be fine, our sandbox playthrough. And we're in the vehicle building again. <laughs> I just remembered what we did last time. Oh, dear. Last time, we set the world land speed record of 78 miles an hour. So, yeah, sadly, we will be deleting Thrusty McGee. So, let's just grab that and press delete. Uh, because if you remember... I discovered this last time. You can launch on various different launch pads and runways, but you can also launch boats. So we're going to be building a ship and seeing how the hell that works today. Um, I guess first off, I actually let's let's have a look at the boat launch. Oh, we need to actually build a boat first. Okay, we'll build a boat first. Oh, and by the way, I've just launched a brand new merch store. Check it out at realcivilengineer.com. Super high quality products with brand new and returning designs. Use code BOOSH for 10% off. But anyway, I'm not exactly sure what parts I need. I assume something hollow, right? So like these cargo bays. So if we shove that on the back, seal it up with a nose cone. I imagine that's just going to fill with water, but I don't know. Let's just do that for now. I just want to see like what the, what the thing looks like. So boat launch. Yep. Let's have a look. Oh man. Okay. So we do actually go underwater um, and I guess actually it's fine because as long as our as long as our cabin is like pressurized then we're all good i was honestly i was a little bit worried i was going to be like ripped off this episode uh, someone in the comments they told me the the boat area was just like you know like those launch pads out at sea like a rocket launch pad i think spacex they've landed a few like they've taken rockets off and then land them back down on them uh, they told me it was that so i was a little bit worried but yeah you're completely wrong commenter you scared me but i knew it was going to be a boat so anyway back to the vab and then to check my buoyancy thing if i delete these and actually go with something hollow that actually fits on the back of that so like a small hollow cargo bay like that yeah so if i just make this like really long and that's going to be lots of air so that should be fairly buoyant or at least like the the back end of it will be so super long tube i then saw we've got like if i just shove one of these tails on the end so then we've got the world's pointiest hollow tube and i'm hoping that will float um so i guess we'll just see if it does for now so there it is and i tell you what i think i'm right i mean <laughs> jeb's not in the best of places at the front of that spinning around quite a lot but look at it it's floating okay so we know that actually that's how you make a boat so if we i want to know if i open this does it fill it up with water so that's now open i mean the fact it's like it's like above the water now <laughs> <laughs> Where's it going? No, don't crash into that. Right, okay. Like, it won't sink at all. What if I open... What if I open all of these? Okay, well, that is 100% floating. Man, look how much space we have to build a ship as well. One more test before we get building properly. If I build these Methalox fuel tanks. My question is, will that float? Is this fuel less dense than water, meaning it will float? Or is it more dense, meaning it will sink? I assume that's how this will work, right? It's just got to weigh less than the water. So there we go. Oh my goodness. What is it doing? What is it doing? <laughs> um, I think it might be sinking. Yeah. So I think it sank, but like the front of it was heavier. Hence it's gone down like that. Jeb is like... <laughs> Is he laughing? I don't know what's going on up there. <laughs> He's loving life. That's all I know. But yeah, if we go under the water, you can see physics are... Well, they're going a little bit mental. Let's put it that way. We've sort of made a dancing pencil. Get some disco music behind that. Editor. So I feel like we've sort of learned enough that we can potentially make a floating vessel. Um, now, what I like about this cab is... Can you see it's got like two nodes coming off it? So we can also build down as well as backwards. And presumably, if I get like a bend, which I think we can probably do with one of these structures right yes yeah, so we can shove a part like that underneath oh man then we have like nodes for days we can go every direction okay that's good that is actually quite good because uh, what i'm thinking we have the fuel down low and we have the buoyancy up above uh, so actually i might make this more like more like an actual ship to be honest so if we just put these down there this is to link everything together so we need cargo bays high up so we have that sort of thing and then we have the fuel low down so we got that sort of thing then i'm just thinking i probably want to connect connect these together at this end. Trouble is, I'm not really sure this game works like that. I don't think you can really make loops unless you use struts to stitch it all together. So I can shove that there. And I think as I add these, I think that one and that one, like they're not actually connected together or are they? So 
Yeah, although that is a T and it should all be connected, I think like if we if we go back, they're all connected together like that. But like if we go that way, that they're separate parts. And like down here, they're separate parts. Yeah, so I'd have to stitch those together with struts. But I think for now, let's just actually see if this floats. Uh, so let's launch. So here we are in the water and we've gone. I mean, we, we've gone straight to the seafloor. Okay, never mind. I probably went a bit too heavy on the fuel tanks, to be honest. We, we shouldn't need that much fuel. We're not like, we're not sailing around the globe. Or are we? That could be a challenge. Anyway, for now, perhaps we'll reduce our fuel load by a half. And then maybe fill in these other nodes with like smaller ones. Seems like the more buoyant we are, the better. So we're just going to fill all these nodes with cargo bits. I know it didn't matter before, but I am slightly concerned. Perhaps we do just need nose cones on these. So we got this now. It looks sort of submarine-ish, to be honest. Now, I will have to strut the ends together. I just want to, I don't want to strut anything before I know that it floats. So we'll shove it in the sea and see see what happens. Oh, it's close. It is close. It wants to roll over though. Oh god, game is not happy with this. Frame rate is gone. Everything's gone. Jeb is giggling away. All right, I found us. We're in a pile of rubble in the corner. Fine. Revert to the VAB. Now, what I'm thinking, we, we just go wider. So essentially copy everything under there over this way. Delete that arm. And then we should just be able to shove that on the side. There we go. And then do the same on this side. Right. So now we're much wider and we should be more buoyant and less likely to roll as well. Now we can always swap. We do have, remember, we got three fuel tanks down there. We could just swap them. So we only have like one or two. So here we go into the water. And are we Oh, we're so close to floating. So close, but we're we're definitely we are definitely sinking. Fair enough. And sadly the game crashed. So let's try again. Okay, I think the trouble is there's quite a lot of parts on this. So what I'm thinking, if I just go bigger instead, then I can use less parts, right? So this is the connector we used before. It weighs 1.5 tons. If I upgrade to a large one, it actually weighs less. I mean, it's pretty insane, but this boat is gonna be insane. I mean, let's not call it a boat either. It's a ship. So long, large cargo holds just how we like it at the UK Space Agency. I think I'll do five. Oh my goodness, what has happened to that? Okay, let's not copy them. We'll, we'll do them all manually. And then for the front, perhaps cargo ramps like that. That looks way more boatish. Yeah, I like that. And as we know, if it looks boatish, it should probably act boatish. Now what I'm thinking as well, actually, I probably I'm trying to think of my aerodynamics or aqua dynamic. No, what's it called? Anyway, it doesn't matter what it's called. The fact is it's done. Um, I haven't I haven't gone deep this time. We're just going to try and do that see if it works i am gonna head into the struts though and we're gonna strut our stuff so cue that sexy music oh yeah get right under that with your struts that's it strut it Ooh, you little strut you. yes attached together Ooh. right well that was weird and i've also i've just launched this onto a runway <laughs> not quite what i intended Still, it looks sort of boatish. And you can only assume when we put it onto the boat launch, it'll be even better. Oh no, why is it sinking? Wait, what? I thought we did a small scale test and this didn't sink. Well, this is less than ideal. I am wondering if it's because of these, because we now have holes everywhere. That would be really annoying if that was the case. Uh, I'm wondering though, if I take that off, can I put like an engine mount? Is that going to help? So if I put that there and then put this back on, that's now, that's now watertight, right? Probably not how it works, but it's how I'm going to assume it works for now. Now, the worst thing is me doing all this. If it doesn't actually work, I've just added loads of weight to my vessel. Uh, not ideal when I want it to float. Anyway, we're back in and yep, yeah, it, it still sinks. Oh, come on game. So what if I grab all of these, shove the... Oh no. <laughs> what has it turned it into? It's just like a jumbled mess. What is that? Oh game, what are you doing? How is that copying? What have you done to it? So what if we just do this simply? I'll just use that one on the end, yeah? So I just want to copy that. So I'll hold copy, grab that. Why have you broken it? Okay, so apparently that on the right is that copied. Yep, nice one game. All right, well, I've got one underneath. So let's just move it to the side. So yeah, like that. Can I then just copy that one? Oh, well, that took about 10 times as long as I hoped it would. But we're finally there. Let's see. Will this thing float? All right, we're in the water. We are... We're still... 
Still sinking. We're still sinking. Okay, I'm just going to have to make it longer, I think. Alternatively, perhaps some propulsion would help us out. So what if we swap these rear nose cones, shove some engine mounts on the back, and then we need to try and work out which one of these will work underwater. Now, I don't want to go too heavy with these, so I think I might go for this one. So we've got those. Next up, we just need some fuel. So I've shoved some fuel under there. Hopefully that's all connected. Otherwise, we may have to use fuel pipes. But with the weight at the bottom, of the boat. All right, so we're in the water. Let's hit fire. Oh man, they actually fired. We, we have thrust. Okay, we have thrust and we have movement out the back as well. Oh no, we are rolling. We are rolling. I put the weight underneath. Why is it buoyant that way around? Anyway, I feel like we don't have enough thrust. So let's swap these piddly things for these ones, which are called the main sail as well. So that's actually, that's quite good in terms of boating. I think we're definitely onto something. The trouble is, how am I actually going to sail this? It's just sinking every time. Like I honestly thought this would float. Let's make this top section longer. So that's good at the back. We need the front longer as well. And I've just launched it onto the runway. But now we're back in the sea and now, oh, did it nearly float? Maybe. Let's hit the engines. Then let's Oh man, this seems to be really struggling to move underwater. I mean, not just not struggling. It's literally just, it's, it's not moving. Right, I've had an idea. I've had an idea. Perhaps I'm going about this the wrong way. Because uh, I've just realized like what has air in them in the game? Definitely 100%. It's going to be wheels, right? So if I can cover it in perhaps like these wheels, like that could act as buoyancy, right? So we'll just cover the ship in these. Start to question why all your designs require everything to be covered in wheels. And then I guess we'll launch this thing and see if there's any logic behind this theory. Right, frame rate a lot slower. I will say that. <laughs> but, oh, are we floating? Or was it just, oh, it's just slow, it's just slow frames, I think. We're still sinking. All right, well, starboard, launch the rudder. I'm sure that's a ship saying, right? So I just got off the blower with the UK Space Agency, uh, which are which are my boss, of course. And uh, they said, Matt, you're obviously struggling with boats. Why don't we try something a little bit, a little bit more unusual? So I've I've had a little Google. I found there's something called an Akrana plan, uh, which is basically like a low flying plane that sort of sticks to just above water. Uh, so I'm doing my best to recreate that. So what we need up the front, we need our engines. Um, and I feel like these, oh yeah, they're pretty big. They might be okay though. So we've got four jet engines at the front. They sort of sit up there. We then need some like short stubby wings, but they need to be big. So yeah, I think that looks pretty good. We put it somewhere in the middle of our craft. And then these want to be sort of a little bit stubby. So they do want to be longer. So we'll make the span a bit bigger, but the tip needs to be pretty fat. So we then need a very, very big tail because uh, then we have more wings on top of here. All right. So we end up with something like this. The trouble now, we don't actually have any fuel for these engines. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the center of mass on. And because of these engines, that's way at the front. So if I swap the back pieces and put fuel there instead, Dead. And you can see where our center of mass is compared to our center of lift. So if I just move the wings a bit, then I think we should be good. The only question is, will this thing sink before it even gets moving? Only one way to find out. Let's launch. All right. So unfortunately, it's nighttime and we're also we're not in the sea. <laughs> How many times are we going to make that mistake? So let's see if we float and shock. <laughs> I mean, oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Not only did we sink, we also exploded. Man, I feel a little bit sorry for Jeb in there. That's got some movement on it, all right. All right, well, let's actually see on a runway, does it have the power to take off? I mean, it's trying. I could actually, I could add some wheels. All right, so this time with wheels, we are at least moving. I, I guess I can go and try and land on water instead. But yeah, this thing, not meant to have wheels. It's meant to float. Doesn't float at all. Haven't quite worked out the old floating mechanism in this game yet. And but yeah, let's try and take off. Oh, and we've done it. We've blooming done it. Right, I've tucked my landing gear away. So now we are just a plane right now. Now this thing was designed to just cruise at low altitudes, literally meters above the water. So I guess that's what we'll try and do. I might actually turn the old speed down. All right, so there we go. We're landing in Oh, we, we blew. Hey, Jeb's okay, though. I don't know where he is. He's apparently spinning quite viciously. <laughs> that, he's actually loving life. Does it tell you his G-force? If we recover vessel... Oh, yeah, he experienced 76 Gs in that. Lovely. But yeah, in real life, these were used in, like, the late 80s, early 90s by the Soviet Union. I don't think their engines fell off as often as these ones seem to, though. <laughs> 
What is going on? And yeah, it flew at four meters above the ground level because that gives you something called the ground effect, which basically means the, the vertices you see at the end of wings, they don't actually occur at that level. Yeah, because... <laughs> If you go too high, apparently all your engines fall off. Oh, and your front. Oh, and you explode into a fireball. But yeah, with the ground effect in play, these are like super efficient in terms of like the aerodynamics. Not necessarily the one I've built, but in real life at least. Um, and they're not actually classed as aircraft. They're classed officially as a maritime ship. So technically, I've made a boat in Kerbal Space Program 2. Uh, what I would love to do though is sort of not just fly this realistically, but sort of land it on sea as well. 190 two meters a second which far as i'm aware is fast i guess that's the trouble having so many engines is uh they produce so much power so you can see my engine power down there our throttle is on two so hopefully we will start slowing down a bit but yeah there we go there we go ooh, ooh, ooh. we're sort of landing sort of landing we've definitely slowed down all right ready ready we've landed yes and we're not sinking Oh, poo, we're sinking. No, Jeb, Jeb. Why are you always so happy about this? I think we're fine. Graphics gone mental. Physics gone mental. Everything's gone mental. Sorry, Jeb. You're yeah, not going to lie. It's starting to think this game's a little bit buggy for the things that I want to try. <laughs> And the game seems to agree with me because it says, excellent, you didn't crash. Cheers, game. Well, anyway, it looks like I've got some practice to do. I really want to actually build a boat. I'm not sure whether it's not actually possible or whether it's beyond me. Let me know in the comments. But for now, I'll say peace, love and break dancing fuselage. Bye, guys.